Iridescence is an important component of visual appearance for realistic rendering, and iridescent colors are found even in very common types of materials, such as leather. Our goal is to incorporate iridescent effects into existing material models at a negligible cost. Most glossy material models and graphics are based on the microfacet theory, which assumes a distribution D of mirror-like facets at a microscopic scale. Colors are solely due to the reflectance term R, which is computed using Fresnel's equations. We model iridescent materials by adding a thin film layer on top of the microscopic structure. Its thickness is on the order of visible wavelength, which requires to work with wave optics. The resulting thin film iridescence is modeled with a new reflectance storm R, computing using Aries summation, which accounts for wave interference. The new reflectance term produces high frequency oscillations in the spectral domain. Our main contribution is to provide an analytical spectral integration of these oscillations, which permits to use our extension at a negligible cost. We begin with a material editing session captured in real time in BRDF Explorer. The parameters of our model may be edited interactively, allowing artists to adjust material appearance. The image slice at the bottom shows that iridescent colors only occur in the vertical dimension, which corresponds to the difference angle. The results very accurately reproduce the ground truth, which is computed with the brute force spectral integral. We do not show the ground truth on the render view, since it is extremely slow. A simple alternative to our approach consists in evaluating the model with one reference wavelength per color channel. But the resulting colors are wrong, especially when the thin film is made thicker. In this case, iridescent effects should vanish. We now present rendering results in direct lighting. We start with a dielectric material over a red diffuse body, to which we add a thin film of varying thickness. Our model behaves coherently when rotating either the object or the lighting environment. If we now switch to a rough conducting material, the color used in saturation changes sensibly. Our model is easily adapted to work with transparent materials. The thin film thickness is here varied to mimic specially varying condensation. Thickness may also be varied smoothly across the object for aesthetic purposes. Here we explore the addition of regular patterns on a metallic base layer to give a futuristic look. Using a highly detailed texture map for the thin film thickness may cause aliasing artifacts. Our model handles anti-aliasing through prefiltering, assuming thickness variations are normally distributed. For real-time rendering, iridescent effects may be approximated by computing them only in the specular direction. This is valid for materials of small roughness. But with rougher materials, color fringes end up oversaturated. We finally render results in global illumination using Mitsuba. Let us start with a leather chair, where a uniform thin film layer brings realistic colors that change with surface orientation. The appearance of a metallic statue can also be made more realistic by adding a thin film layer, which brings subtle color variations. Iridescent effects are common in special effect pigments for car paints. We reproduce this effect with our method, then add special variations on the car doors to bring a custom touch to the beetle. We finally demonstrate our method with a transparent material.